the next report that we will be preparing is the rolling forecast report now the rolling forecast as you know is similar to forecast the only difference being that the rolling forecast is for next defined number of months it can be 12 months or 24 months and it's much more dynamic it's uh, much more continuous it's much more real time and uh, you can view the changes in the forecast real time by the input of actuals so let's see how can we prepare the rolling forecast report this is the data that we have currently these are our particulars for pnl we have revenue under cogs we have raw materials electricity transport wages rent etc then we are arriving at gross margin we have payroll indirect expenses sgna depreciation and finally we have net margin uh these columns are budget columns so we have the budget information available with us january december 2025 assumingly that uh, we've already completed the six months of 2025 we have actual information for the first six months of 2025 what we need to do is we need to prepare the rolling forecast from july 2025 onwards before we start doing that let's fix few things let's bring it in the proper format so that it, it's it looks elegant i have selected all pressing control a i have i'm now adjusting the column width so i select all and then press alt h o i sequentially and then it adjusts the column width what i can then do is maybe hold a few sections so that uh, it's properly highlighted i know my cogs is a sum total of all of these so i'll highlight cogs revenue gm maybe payroll as well my in-depth expense is sum total of all of these i'll highlight the indirect expenses sgna and my net margin as well what i can further do is maybe group all of these which are the sub parts of expenses so that in case i want to see a summary i can just group them and see the summary i like to create a small gap just to differentiate different sections of my pnl let me color it like this uh, i do the same to differentiate between the budget and actuals okay and then maybe what i can do is i can color code this all right and now i'll now drag this month-wise data to maybe end of 2026 name the heading here as forecast so i would essentially be forecasting for next 18 months even in the rolling forecast the projection is done for next 12 months but i i'd still uh, i still have extended it to next 18 months what i can further do is bring down the numbers in proper format I press Control Shift and one uh, that brings the number in the comma and with two decimal spaces. I in fact reduce the two decimal spaces. What I can further do is reduce these numbers in thousands. So I select all these numbers, press Control one, go to custom. Maybe scroll up. I see this section. Uh, we have hash sign, then comma, then hash hash and zero. If I just put a comma over here, this rounds off this number to thousands and it looks more elegant now. I further adjust my column width and I can now start my working. Now, I'll start with the revenue. So, I've been given the planned revenue for 12 months and the historical revenue for 6 months of the year. I now need to 
project the revenue for the next 18 months now i this revenue can be dependent on few factors uh assuming uh, the case study that we took uh, was for the soft drink company say this is the pnl for soft drink company the sale of soft drink company depends on the uh, temperature of the month the higher the temperature the more sale it is likely to happen in your uh, particular case for your respective company the driving factor of revenue can be different but essentially your revenue is dependent on some factor which you can use to project the revenue numbers for rest of the year in my case i have this input so i have the average temperature for the entire of 2025 and 2026 and uh, i have the sale of first six months which i can just plot over here so i select the sale and to the base special transpose uh, function i have entered the sale over here which is my revenue i can use this data to pro to give a projection of my uh, rest of the month's sales uh, because like i said my sale in this case is dependent on the temperature of the month the higher the temperature the higher the revenue i can just use a formula of trend i can also use regression analysis but that's a topic for some other day so I I know I have I'm using the trend function. My known y's are my known revenue. Known data on the x-axis would be the temperature. So following this pattern, what should be my sale for a 36 degree temperature? Excel gives me the calculated number which I can take for my reference. And then I can use this data to project the sale for rest of the year can get in desired format and maybe color code it so that I know this is the projected number. I use this. After projecting all the revenue, I bring this to, to the desired format. Maybe I just copy this all the way to, my, to the last column and do a Pay special format. So this would copy this entire format in the rest of the columns where I'm about to put my data. I then start by projecting my raw materials. Uh, what there is something maybe I would want to add is the basis of projection, which I would want to add maybe somewhere over here. Once, once I've entered the note over here, I then move on to projecting my rest of the expenses now these the basis of these expenses can be subjective it depends on what uh, basis you are adopting it can be um, uh, the moving average it can be the forecast function uh, it can be subjective at times but whatever be the case your attempt in case of rolling forecast should be to make this file as dynamic as possible and have it all formula driven rather than uh, this being dependent on a manual intervention of a or manual input of a number. I'm going to use the forecast function. I find that more scientific at times. So I use the target dates, the values, and the timeline values to project my forecasted number. I fix this and then drag this formula all the way to, towards right, do a control R and then it gives me that value. Now if I fix this, and copy this to the bottom, it gives me the forecast for all these expenses also then take this towards right and my projection is done i can just write the basis as forecast function
and for the sake of variety let me use the average over here this can be my basis of projection for these expenses for the rest of my period for promotions again it's up to me what this is what i want to assume i can make use of another common function called trend these are my known y's this is my known x and this is the x that i am for which i want the number i fix relevant values works well now i copy the thumb formula i copy all of these formulas I have written the basis over here. Then maybe improve it properly. Make use of the cell borders function. And then group this further. I also change the coloring or of, of my forecast section so that it is distinctly visible. Add a total somewhere here. This would be my budget total for the year 2025. And this would be my full year total. I can also call it add plus forecast total for 2025. Budget total would be sum of the budget amounts. And act forecast would be my sum of actual plus forecast. For the year, then copy it all the way to towards the bottom. Copy this and then paste the format section. This is how my dynamic projection looks like. 